Good afternoon, West Con. I am student meteorologist Zachary Duhame with the forecast update for the second Wednesday of October. Started off nice today with lots of sun, but the clouds have quickly come in over the last few hours with also the rising chance for showers by the evening hours. And we're going to have showery periods throughout the entire night tonight. And that will bring a nice fall chill for the next few days. How about highs in the 60s? Believe it or not, that's where we should be versus the 70s. But back to the 70s for the upcoming weekend and we'll see how warm it gets exactly with my five day forecast. The current surface map with low pressure to our north and over the Great Lakes region will be moving to our south over the next about 12 to 15 hours and that's going to bring the chance for some showers and thunderstorms and actually no thunderstorms sorry just some showers maybe a heavier burst of rain in a few towns overnight tonight as well. Let's time out that rain right now so with the showers are back to our west a passing sprinkle looks like to maybe have passed through the campus, although I think the ground currently is dry, so there's still probably enough dry air in place that the showers are not reaching the ground. But this action back to the west will come through around 6 p.m. starting off, and that's where we're going to see the best shot for some showers pushing through the state. So here's your map, your radar map, 6 p.m. Again, those showers are advancing into Connecticut, and but rains overnight on and off, and then by 6 a.m. tomorrow, Thursday morning, it looks like the showers are moving from northwest to southeast, so they're pushing away from Connecticut, again, just like this. So about the morning commute, it looks to finally dry out and we see some sunshine by the afternoon. But one thing you'll notice compared to today, much cooler air mass. Temperatures probably stuck around 60 for most of the days, getting to the low 60s later on when we get the sunshine in there. But overall, much more cool and a crisp feel in the air mass tomorrow versus today as well. But yes, by Saturday morning, another chance for a few passing showers. This is with a warm front. Uh, not expecting much rain, but it cannot roll out passing shower through about maybe noontime on Saturday. But what does it do by Sunday? Temperatures back near 80 degrees once again. So it's another warm front that comes in, but a cold front looks coming by Sunday evening. And these temperatures will be going way down for the day on Monday. Before I get to the extended forecast, look at the fall foliage update. We have some moderate color across most of Connecticut, but way to the north, Maine, Vermont, and New York. That's where peak colors are. Expect about two or three more weeks until most of Connecticut sees their peak foliage here in the local area. Tonight's forecast, temperatures in the low to mid 50s. So on the mild side, showery periods ending by daybreak as well. And then for Thursday, a much cooler highs, only low to mid 60s versus the low to mid 70s like we saw today. Uh, morning clouds, then uh, sun and seasonable. Don't forget breezy as well, gusts to 25 miles per hour. So definitely uh, going to feel a bit, you know, fall like for once out there. The five day forecast, fall for Thursday and Friday and back to Warmer conditions near the mid to upper 70s by Sunday. Increase the chance for some showers Sunday night with the cold front. Look at that. Only low 60s by Monday. I am student meteorologist Zachary Duhame. Have a great rest of your week.